seems every bear in Yellowstone National Park is quite upset. Maybe not this one. It started in 2013. Jesse Logan and Wally McFarland looked at the pines of white bark trees and saw a decrease due to climate change, making bark beetles flock to them. That's right, and white bark trees are a key nutrient for bears. Oh my goodness, look at all of these beetles. Wow, this bark is delicious. I really am liking the flavor trip. If this continues, grizzly bears can go extinct, and Yellowstone will be overrun with these bugs. We need to care because it's a natural beauty to the world and a great tourist destination. To maintain the park, we can do things to lower our carbon footprint. Ride the bus instead of taking individual cars. Don't leave the water running while brushing your teeth. You can always plant more trees. None of these things will create more problems. If carbon exhaustion gets too extreme, we'll have to buy air like in the Lorax. We may also try to relocate grizzly bears so they do not go extinct. Environmental Group Union of Concerned Scientists tracks attacks on science by the Trump administration. Clean air, cool planet. We track global warming all over the world. Some people argue that climate change is not happening, but the summers have gotten warmer and winters have gotten shorter. Global warming isn't even happening. Just ignore that. As for the bears, they need the white bark pines for nutrients. Although the Fish and Wildlife Institute claims that grizzly bears are not endangered and should be removed from the list, just because they can eat fish. But the white barks are really needed to stop the bears from eating during cold months. Barry, what are you doing up? I thought you were in Torper. Yes, it is quiet, Grizzly. I didn't get enough white bark, so I can hardly bear it. 